Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Xbox 360 flashbacks and this week we're um, going to 2012 with a Ubisoft game called I Am Alive. Now I must admit I hadn't ever heard of this game, never seen it before and um, it has a kind of fallout almost post apocalyptic vibe about it and it is quite different and I like different, different is good. I think you will enjoy it if you're a fallout fan. Without further ado, let's get into it. Test. Test. I'm not sure the sound is working. Wow. It works. Uh, this is a little awkward for me, but if you found this, then that means... Anyway, if you could try to deliver this video recorder to my home. That's in Haventon, 27 Arbor Street. It's right in front of the park, and, well, uh, maybe, just maybe, someone will be there. Okay, this is basically my life. My backpack, climbing harness, flashlight, a couple of batteries, a pistol. I've never even fired a gun before. Anyway, there aren't any bullets in it, so... I can't believe I'm about to arrive. It's been almost a year now since the event. It only took me four hours to out east, but the better part of a year to walk home. With any luck, I'll be back at our apartment in another couple of hours. I saw a lot of damage on the way here, but this looks different. There's more dust than anywhere I've seen. I wonder what it looks like inside the city. I know it's crazy, but I, I just have this feeling that I'll find you. Julie, without you and Mary, None of this makes any sense. Almost home. See you soon. Welcome to a catastrophic disaster known as the event that wiped out 90% of the human race. The cataclysm continues to make itself felt by the way of aftershocks and toxic ducks. Dust that hangs permanently within half collapsed cities. In the weeks and months after the event, resources shortages quickly became people's biggest problem, a situation that has only gotten worse as time has passed. As the game begins, society is broken down into small pockets of survivors, some of whom want only to protect the meager resources they have, whereas others are out to get everything they can, no matter what their agenda, however, everyone is on guard on edge and everybody is capable of violence and this is the world that we find ourselves in and as you can see it has this kind of fallout three ish kind of vibe um we open with an unarmed man arriving in the city of haventon hoping to find his wife julia and his daughter mary whom he last saw just before the event recording updates via the video camera which he saw at the start watched by an unidentified person at some point in the future. He explains it took him almost a year to walk back to Haverton from out east. When he gets to his apartment, he finds a note written to Julian. We'll get to that. And that's really what we're going to get to today. We're going to go through the kind of first objective to get to the apartment and see if Julie is actually there with his daughter. As you can see, as, as I was talking, we're up on a big bridge. We have to manage our stamina. It's almost a survival action-adventure survival game, this one. There is a survival mode. I just picked the normal mode so I can have a wee look at it. But I can tell you, even in the opening sequence, it's not an easy game. It has this really weird look about it, though, guys, and I, I sort of like it. It's it's. I do like games that are different. A little bit different um, and uh, yeah this one certainly at least looks much different to any game that I've really played um, it almost has that horror Resident Evil vibe about it um, and like I said earlier it does certainly have a kind of fallout vibe and yeah there's a bit of, there's a bit of climbing and 
figuring out to be done as far as how to traver traverse um, the environment and there uh, yeah, is you're going to see there's a few cuts where <laughs> I'm not exactly successful in doing that but um, it's always the same in a new game you're just trying to work all the mechanics and you know a lot of the time I'm just I'm coming into these games cold don't know too much about them so um, um, yeah we just find it out as we go along as you guys are watching as you can see jumping between gaps burns a hell of a lot of stamina which is not a good thing oh no that's not good get up there get up there we go luckily once we get up on a ledge we can regenerate the stamina and on we go again I really would recommend this game guys for you Fallout fans out there or if you you like this kind of poker post-apocalyptic easy for you to say post-apocalyptic kind of games vibes this one's got it in spades so stamina binds it we know it burns as we climb we're finding that out as we go let me tell you and um, yeah yeah no wonder his arms store sore but you can't hang around my threat my friend because your stamina's not regenerating I suggest that you're probably going to be able to upgrade your character or pick up things in the environment as we go along that will help with your stamina. I would hope that would be the case. Ubisoft are pretty good at, at giving you that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, this I must admit, this is a Ubisoft that I have I've never seen before or never heard about. So um, I, I know it is a pretty old game. So there you go, inventory. It get, they get, we had stuff for our stamina, look. Stamina and stamina capacity. We'll have both of those, I think. Okay, looks like some fruit and uh, a wee bit of water. There we go. That's helped a little bit. Well, it's still standing. No, I haven't has seen better days. It almost has that New York vibe about it, doesn't it? Um, but yeah. Ooh, I, I guess we're gonna grab on that big cable. I really don't know. This could go go horribly wrong. Oh no, there we go. Down we go. Uh, never mind about the uh, rope burn. Okay. Fantastic. We didn't get much further. We're just on the other side of the bus. So I got all the way round to go just to get to the other side of the bus. Um, hint, please, game. That seems to be uh, approach the track, press A and climb and hand over hand. Um, what that truck there or? Oh, that truck. Uh, oh yeah, that is a truck on its side. Now that I look at it, okay, cool. Real atmosphere about this game, isn't it? The sun rays and okay, um, you all can see where we're going to go there. They've done a nice job at kind of putting some puzzles in for you. We're going to go down the ladders there, I would suggest. The the thing that strikes me about this game is it's the, is the lack of kind of anything real fancy. It's it's stripped right back, and I kind of like that. I'm going to land that. Oh, ooh. Okay. Jump. Whoa, ooh. I'm just waiting for zombies to... <laughs> Are you feeling the same? I'm waiting for zombies to jump out and attack me here, but... <laughs> There's an awful lot of um, expired people. I'm also looking for the lootables, and uh, yeah, there just seem to be a heck of a lot of lootables around at this point. Okay, where are we going now? Um, hmm. Over here. Can we get up that? Up that? No? No, we can't go that way. Um, oh, over there. Cool. Scottish flag on the bridge there, that's fantastic. Good stuff. It's a good uh, start. I think we're going down there. Moving onto an angle slope will allow you to slide down, I guess that's it. Okay. And 
fantastic. Oh, push up. That's it. There we go. Good work, G4. Jump. Grab. Push up. Here we go. Yo, oh, nearly didn't make that. Okay, I can probably get back up to the streets if I go through the sewer. Hint, hint. Okay, we're in the sewers by the looks of it. Again, seem to spend a lot of time in the sewers in games. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> okay, he's not very well. Oh, I guess we go to the glowing, go to the light, Caroan. Okay, oh, find a way to your old apartment. Well, I'm sort of trying that. Okay, so we're underneath here. Oh, hey, yo, how you doing, friend? How you. are you? Oh, hey, I'm just, I'm just. Oh my God! I was just trying to talk to you, sir. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna go. I don't get bullets, so I can't do anything, damn so. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get past this guy. Um, no, I can't go that way. Do I just have to hunker down. Hello. Um, I'm gonna get past. Hey, oh, who's that? Uh, you're gonna get shot. I don't want any trouble. Uh, you have no gone. bullets when possible. You should avoid trouble. No crap, Sherlock. Back off, back off, G4. Just walk back, walk back. Nothing to see here. It's all good, buddy. That's it. Just keep right on walking. Thanks, I will. I don't want you shot again. Oh my goodness. People were paranoid. Did say that in the notes, to be fair. It did say that everybody doesn't trust everybody and they're protecting what they've got and all that good stuff, so... Up here? That seems the logical way to go. Oh, yeah. Good use of um, motion... Uh, blur. Ubisoft. Oh, my God. Grain and blur. Um, okay, so we want to go over there. Um... They do not look very friendly at all. Um, have you got anything for me, sir? Nothing. Okay. Um, SY to open the map. Yeah, I know how to open the map game. Thanks very much. They have not been very helpful at all. Do not tell me what my next destination. I thought he had a gun for a second there. <laughs> map update. Jeez, this is going to drive me bonkers, so I can't go that way, it's, it's all it's telling me. Can I hop up over here? Oh, I got a retry. You picked up a retry. A retry allows you to restart from the last checkpoint. If you die and no more retries, you have to restart from your save point. Oh, okay, yeah, it certainly is a survival game, isn't it? I'm not sure that I like this map update thing. It's annoying me a little. Um, oh, go to the light, Caroline. I could force open this gate with something. Yeah, I could. If we had something, we could. Oh, who's this? What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, hey. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait no. <laughs> Step back. I'll shoot you with no bullets and my gun. Shit, I'm blocked. Approach the enemy and push him in the hole. Roger please, that. Please. I'm not worth a bullet. I'm trying. I'm. I'm. Oh no! Keep your gun up. No, that was silly. Please, I'm trapped. No. Don't be hitting me with your machete. No. Uh, there it is. No. Strike him. Don't shoot. Ah! Oh dear. Oh, that was nice. I'm to leave his machete behind, though. I need that. Better keep this with me. I think you should. Okay. You find a machete. Keep it there for a, a ta when people attack you. Okay, I will. Yeah. Mash that RT button. Okay. Now. Oh, hello. How you doing? Hey, you! I can see you. Well, well, what do we have here? Oh, surprise machete attack. I picked up a bullet. Oh, that's going to be useful. One bullet. You win. Knock him down. There we go. Knocked him out. Oh, okay, so. See, the mechanics are a little bit different to what I'm used to. You can't really have them um, rush it. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I'm not 
Oh, 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 he doubled, uh, double team me. Shoot him. Machete. Machete's a bit slow. Oh, RT, RT, RT. Get him. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> that could have gone better. I'm trying to kill him, but there's machetes everywhere. Machete. Looks like we'll get a lot of weapons or equipment. Um, okay, yeah, there's light over there. I've got a feeling I should have gone through that hole and just had a wee look around for stuff, but anywho, um, yeah, which is unusual for me not to be looting my patootie off, but um, anyway, we'll go to the light. Machete door opener, please. Okay. Oh, what's that down there? Looks like a gas ball. It's got a glowing kind of stream out of it, so I guess we've got to dig, get it. Grab it. What is it? Oh, it's health, is it? Oh, yeah. Per picked up a first aid kit. We might need that. Yeah, we'll use that. First aid kit. Beautiful. Okay, we're doing okay so far. The apartment's just in front of us by the looks of it. Okay, we've got, I think we've got to go down the alley though. Yeah, I know I can't go that way. Du, du, du. Oh my goodness. Oh, who's that? We have no Who are you? <laughs> He's my son. They stabbed him. He's gonna bleed to death if we can't find something to treat this wound. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I might, I might or might not have used the <laughs> health kit on myself. Are you going for help? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'll, I'll go, I'm going for help. I'll be back. Back in a sec. There's actually an ambulance there. I wonder if there's any health in there. Oh, coffee shop. There's an alleyway there. Hey, Hi, hello, gra oh, uh, hey, Granny. Oh, hey, Granny. Oh, it's a, it's a Mexican standoff. Uh, not really a Mexican standoff. She kicked my patute. She kicked my butt. Um, mm, how are we going to get past Grandma with a gun? Um, mm. It's not good, is it? Um, can we go up the alley with there? I'm not sure if we can go up the alley or not. Hey, who's that? It's me, T4. It's fine. I'm a YouTuber. I, I come in peace. Do not... We don't sure get it. I don't I have no idea what that's about. That's it. Keep right on yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, can I get up there? I can't get up there, can I? Um, mm. Do you know the way? That, this is my apartment, Granny. I just want to get in to get Julie and Mary. Oh, hey, 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 now, hey, that's just a bit excessive, okay? Okay. I just got. I'm just gonna keep walking, okay? Keep walking. No. Right I will. Thanks. See ya. Um, oh, hang on. Can we get across here? Very big hole, and I don't want to drop into the art. I'm going to hurt myself. Um, okay, let's go this way then. Oof. Well, the apartment's still standing. That's a good sign. It is a good sign. Wasn't sure I'd ever see this place again. Oh, there's a rocking horse at the front too. Home sweet home. Home sweet. Have you got the key? Oh, I forgot my key. Sorry. You there, Mary? Mary? Julie? Julie. Are you there? There's no one here. Objective search. Search the apartment. Search. Search. Search the apartment. Okay, we shall. We will do a little bit of a search. What's this on the, the mantelpiece here? Okay, what's this? I remember that day. What's this? We have to go now because of the earthquakes. The evacuation team is waiting for us. We'll be taken to one of the emergency shelters. It's very hard to get precise information about the evacuation plan. 
I have no idea where we'll be in the next hour. If only you were here, I would tell you that I forgive you. For everything. For now, all we can do is pray that you're alive. And if you are, I know you'll come back here. We'll try to stay in Haventon, but we'll go wherever's safest. With Mary, I can't take any risks. We love you. Not a moment goes by that we're not thinking about you. Try to find us. We'll be waiting for you. Julia and Mary, May 23rd. May 23rd. That's almost a year ago.